Our focus is raising money for clean water with uh, World Vision. Um, we get together uh, using two different activities. In the May, we do a global 6K uh, for clean water, and that happens with a lot of churches here in town. And then uh, starting in June, we start gathering to run and train for the Kansas City, either half or full marathon. Um, we use that time as a way to raise money. Um, we move our feet so other people don't have to move their feet. Um, so we're really focused on the 700 million people who don't have access to clean water. Uh, on average, they're walking that 6K every single day uh, to get water. And even when they get it, it's dirty. And even after cleaning it, it still brings disease. And uh, we know that a thousand kids every day uh, die from diarrhea related illnesses from that water. So we, we feel like we can make a difference by moving our feet so that they don't have to. And that's really kind of our big focus as a community to come together uh, not only just as a church, but also as Kansas City and also across the country where there's teams all over the place. So we're kind of a part of a small community and a part of a larger community at the same time. You know, community has always been one of the things that's very important for me. Um, I think it's what's modeled in the Bible as far as how we interact with e each other. And so um, knowing, go especially this year, going into this year, knowing that we're not going to have some of the same big events and big kickoffs and, and ways to grow. I knew that um, this is a year that you have to invest more in the people you know, um, really spend more time getting to know those people on a deeper level if you can. And so community has been kind of the way that we've, we've kept our small little pack together. And um, I would actually say this is probably one of my favorite years in the long run. I mean, I wouldn't have thought that back in March. I was very um, down about where everything was looking, but now that we're through this, um, our running season, I, this was one of my favorite years because it created new sense, of, new ways of doing community um, that we've just never done before. Um, it forced us to just call each other, text each other, send out emails, um, post a lot on Facebook, and just try to connect in new ways. And that's been fun and mostly rewarding. When you do something with other people, it's a lot easier. Um, running the marathon the year before, I, I, I stuck myself behind a pacer and I just ran with her and ran behind her. And I ran with, anytime I saw another World Jersey, World Vision jersey, I ran with them. Um, and so when you're doing it together, it's a lot easier. And you go a lot further and you get a lot more out of it. When you do it by yourself, it's, it's lonely, um, but you, you really have to kind of dig in a little bit deeper um, in who you are and what God's done in your life. Otherwise, you, you, you feel overwhelmed out there a little bit and very isolated. And so you have to kind of remind yourself. So I, I spend time praying, I spend time listening to some worship music, I spend time listening to some really loud music, um, just to kind of get me over the hills, uh, literally and figuratively, uh, as we're out running, as I'm out running. Our need for running has never been greater because even writing my sponsor kid and hearing from her talking about World Vision working in their community to teach them how to wash their hands the right way and getting them soap and to fight the virus, knowing that um, you know it, it affects them just as well is one of those things that I could latch on to while I was running and while I was kind of leading, like we're making a difference even more so this year than we could possibly imagine because um, pandemics and viruses don't slow down the need. Uh, it doesn't, doesn't skip over the poverty-stricken parts of the world. In fact, it hits them sometimes even harder. And so that was kind of a big motivation for me this year to really help us to dig in, at least for myself and then for the team, um, to keep us going forward.